everyone. Welcome to Freehand Lee Made a New My Autistic Life. My name is Nisi and this is my channel. Welcome to my quirky little world this morning. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Grammy Colleen Crochet. That's right. She tagged me. Turkey butt. <laughs> she tagged me to do the 20 things about me and crochet. So here we go. You guys ready? <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this quick. <laughs> Number one, <clears throat> how old were you when you learned crochet? Well, that's easy. It was 11 months ago. I was 47. I'm almost. I'm 48 and I'm fixing to turn 49 in a couple of months. Number two, what was the first thing you remember making? I made a beanie, a basic beginner beanie by Bag O'Day. It was from one of her tutorials on her channel. Number three, the make you are most proud of and why. There's a couple of makes that I'm the most proud of, but I had to pick one. So the one I chose was the Turbulent Skies Shawl designed by Spring the Fiber Enthusiast. And the reason is because it had some complicated stitches that I had never heard of and I was actually able to do them. Yes, I actually went through the rabbit hole, around the tree, back through the other side of the rabbit hole, and I got it done. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Let's see. Number four, what is the oldest yarn you have in your stash? I don't really have any old yarn in my personal stash. But there is some yarn in a drawer downstairs that was left here by my belated stepmother-in-law before she passed away. I think it's the kind of yarn that you use to make those really curly scarves with, I think. And she had an unfinished scarf in there. Um, but there's, so there's yarn down there that's at least five years old. Uh, knife or pencil grip? I'm a knife gripper. That's right. I hold my crochet hook like I'm eating steak. <laughs> Do you prefer boy or Susan Bates style hooks? Neither. I don't prefer either one. I definitely do not like boy hooks. I have a set of boy hooks I have not given away yet. Um, I do not use them. I tried them. Do not use them. Don't like them. I had not tried Susan Bates. Don't think I will try Susan Bates to be honest with you. Um, what style do you prefer? I love my clovers. Those, that, that's my favorite hook is the clover. I'm obsessed with my clover hooks. Favorite hook size or range? Um, the range of hooks that I use is a 3.5 to a 6 millimeter. I love using 6 millimeters for beanies. Um, and as far as amigurumis, I prefer around a 4 millimeter unless the pattern says otherwise. Um, and, um, for any embellishments on amigurumis, I tend to use a half a six, a half a hook down. So 3.5 millimeters, what I use that a lot for, but my range is between a 3.5 to a six. Number nine, favorite weight of yarn. I generally use four weight because a lot of the patterns that I use for amigurumi call for four weight. Um. So, yeah, um, I haven't done anything with uh, a five weight yet or above. Uh, but three weight and four weight are my two main weights that I crochet with. Uh, favorite yarn fiber and why? 100% polyester, y'all. I love it. It's so soft. And, and speaking of which, my favorite brand of polyester yarn is, I love, um, feels like butter. Oh, I love that yarn, especially for beanies and scarves. It's so soft. I also like to use it for amigurumi because it's extra soft. Yeah, 100% polyester so far. And then my second place winner is um, the soft cotton. Not kitchen cotton. Wearable cotton. Um, 11. Feature one of your favorite yarns. I love this cotton. Hands down. One of my favorite yarns for cotton, hands down, my favorite polyester yarn is Feels Like Butter. 
what is your favorite item to make? I am obsessed with pumpkins. And if any of you have been following me for any length of time, you already know that I was going to answer amigurumi pumpkins. Almost done with this one, y'all. Doing the leaves now. Yes. Which crochet item do you least enjoy making? Blankets. Because I'm an impatient person. And they're big. They take a lot of yarn. And they take a lot of time. Hands down. Blankets. Although, I think I could get obsessed with blankets if I did a quilt style blanket and did it with granny squares. So, there's always a possibility. What... Uh, what is one crochet item you have yet to make? I have not made a sweater and or a cardigan yet. Describe your color palette. Your color palette. I love and, and and I'm obsessed with fall season color palette. Love, love, love. It's my favorite season of the year because I love the color so much. And then of course, hands down, all shades of purple. Any shade of purple that there is those are my color palette uh, number 10 what is your favorite crochet hack the invisible dis decrease stitch i use the invisible decrease stitch in my amigurumis i love using it on beanies i love using it anytime something says or something tells me to do a decrease i love it love it love it 17 what are your thoughts on crochet being a trend and companies mass producing it? My thought is it's like quilts. Handmade ones are always better quality, one of a kind, unique, and by far excellent than mass produced quilts. Mass produced quilts are like cookie cutter blankets. Um, they're not true patchwork. They're basically long, big pieces of material thrown together with a big, huge machine doing quilt style stitching, folded up and placed in a store. They usually don't last longer than two years because they're mass produced. Um, they're not the best quality more times than not. It's like my Gigi always said. You get what you pay for. Could they do it mass produced? Yeah, they're doing knit items mass produced right now. You can go in any store, Target, Walmart, any mall store, Dillard's, Sears, JCPenney, and you can buy yourself a, a sweater that was mass produced on a huge factory knitting machine. They don't have a bunch of ladies knitting all these sweaters. They're mass produced. Most of those sweaters do last a you know, pretty long time, okay, but they're not the greatest quality. A lot of them snag super easy, and they get all stretchy and weird when you wash them, even though they say they're machine washable. It's just like a sweater you buy in the store or a beanie that you buy in the store that's been mass, that's been mass producedly knitted by factory. You get what you pay for. That's my thoughts on that. Number 18. Feature a pattern designer that you like. Highlight one of their patterns. Oh my gosh, could you ask a harder question? We have to pick one? Y'all killing me. All right. I have many. But if I have to pick one, like a, a, a routine designer that's constantly designing stuff, we'll, go, we'll do that category. I'm going to say I absolutely am obsessed and love the Chocolate Bonbon Beanie by Bag o Day. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to pick a second one, though. This person doesn't routinely do designs and do tutorials. However, she did one that I use for my autism acceptance hats. That is... Hands down, Miss Sunita makes crochet items with her burst of kindness beanie. Girl. Mm. 
Love it. I'm going to pick a third. I'm obsessed with this one, too, and she knows it, and most of you all know it, and that is Crojo Corner, her bobble scrubbies. So, almost done. What is the next pattern you want to make? I already have it in mind. I think I have the yarn I'm going to use, and that is going to be the Cardigan Tutorial by Angela from my precious yarnery she is next on my queue and i think i'm going to do her cardigan using my nora yarn although her cardigan is using um the puzzle yarn which is a five weight um but my nora yarn is technically a four weight but it's not all the way even all the way through that yarn um in some areas it's thicker than others so i think i can get away with using it we'll see Worst comes to worst, I can frog it, right? And go buy me some puzzle yarn. All right. Number 20. And this is the last one. I made it. What is your best tip for beginners? Give yourself a lot of grace and have fun. When you're first making something, don't be so serious about it. Just do it for the joy of it. Do it just to see if you can even do it and have fun with it. Just have fun. That's my, that's my biggest tip for a beginner. Here's the fun part. I get to tag three people. Before I tag three people, let me just say, my husband will tell you this. Mr. Hanson will tell you this. Nisi hates answering questions. So, it's a really huge thing that I did this because I absolutely cannot stand answering questions. I don't know why it's not. It's one of my autism traits that I have. Um, I, I can't stand it. So I had to write all the questions down first. And I had to, as I wrote the question down, I answered each individual question in my notebook. I hate answering questions. Don't like it. But I did it. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right so knowing that if you're like me and you hate answering questions and i tagged you do not feel any pressure to do these it's just part of the the challenge is i have to tag three people so please forgive me <laughs> so the three people i am tagging are crojo corner um Crojo Corner, I'm sorry, honey, but your first name has left the house and down the road and through the woods and around the mountain. I can't remember your first name this morning. It's gone. I'm going to play, I'm going to blame menopause brain. Menopause brain fog. I'm so sorry. Okay, so Crojo Corner. Claire from Woodshed Theory. If some of you don't know Woodshed Theory, she's one of my autistic sisters from another mista. And she crochets and she has some beautiful yarn hauls. And I'm so jealous that she has a savers and I don't. <laughs> and my third one is Miss Alicia from Country Mama musings yes 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 those are my three and if i didn't tag you and you want to jump on this train have at it climb aboard go for the ride enjoy the 20 questions and tag three people i love you all we'll talk to you later always remember dare to be you dare to be different love from montana bye everybody